gosh, we starting off strong. Adventure time! Bro, I swear, everybody deserves a best friend like Jake, bro. Jake was just, Jake was just that guy. I think this show is S tier, bro. Easy, easy S tier. Bro, they had like super interesting characters. I'm so glad that Finn went after Fire Princess instead of Bubblegum Princess. Bubblegum Princess sucked, bro. But, but Finn's still low-key a simp. Bro, amazing world of gumball, bro. Bro, we starting off strong with the tier list, bro. Amazing world of gumball, another, another S tier. Easy, bro. Bro, there was just constantly something going on in this show, bro. Like, the show was super fast-paced. Gumball was always talking really fast, and I just I just loved it, bro. It helped, It really helped my ADHD brain. Bro, I forgot what that banana dude's name was, but he was pretty cool. He was one of my favorite characters. But overall, this show was a W, bro. Next, we have Apple and Onion. Bro, when this show when this show came out, this was around the time where I kind of stopped watching cartoons, and I was exclusively playing video games or watching anime. But I did see a few clips from this show, and it's honestly not that bad. Like, a lot a lot of people be hating on it. It's really not that bad. I'm gonna put it in B. Baby Looney Tunes? Bro, get this out the way. This is where I started getting some people mad. Next, we got Ben 10. Bro, honestly, I was just never a fan of Ben 10, bro. Like, when it came to my tastes and cartoons back in the day, I really only liked shows that where random stuff would happen and there was just a bunch of funny stuff going on. Ben 10, however, had a bit more of a serious plot and I couldn't just really get with it, bro. But they did have some cool McDonald's toys. I'm not gonna lie. I'll go and put all of them in mediocre because I really. I can't tell the difference between them. Right. Although this one looks like it's worse than all the other ones. I'm gonna put this one in bad. Another Batman show. Like, get this out the way. When was Batman on Cartoon Network? Next we have Camp Lazo. Bro, I vaguely remember this show, bro. I think I actually remember their Flash game more than the actual show. Bro, this was it right here, bro. I think it was like a dodgeball game or something, bro. Let's see what the community has to say about it. Okay, they went and gave it a B. So I guess I'll go ahead and give it a B too. All right, next we got Chowder. I do not remember this show at all, bro. This was one of those shows where every time it came on, I kind of just switched the channel. I never really gave this show, this show a fair chance for real because i just didn't like the way it looked like i just didn't like the art style i don't know what it was i'm not gonna sit here and say i never watched it but if it were up to me i would have put it in mediocre this is another one of those where we have to check what the community says they gave chowder a great yeah no i'm just gonna give chowder i'm just gonna give chowder a good next we have clarence Ooh man bro clarence is severely underrated bro this cartoon was a banger like this was one of them cartoons that encouraged me to go outside and like hang out with friends and do stupid stuff this is the definition of what kids do when they're broke like they don't have any money they, they just went outside and just vibe with each other bro like this show this show was just a good feeling show bro i'm putting it Perfect. in great cloudy with a chance of meatballs bro isn't that a movie operation kids next door bro this show made being a kid seem cool this this show made me not want to be an adult i didn't really watch this show that much but i know the few times that i did watch it it was a banger but i vaguely remember the christmas episode of all things because i remember there was a dude in there that looked like wolverine yeah bro Bro, it was this dude right here, bro. Bro, and back when I watched the show, I low-key had a little crush on number three, too. But anyway, this show is an obvious A tier. I'm gonna put it Perfect. above Clarence. All right, next we have Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> the, the irony in that one. This show was a classic, bro. I mean, you could you couldn't go wrong with Courage the Cowardly Dog. I always mess with the old dude talking about that that stupid dog, that dang dog. I'm gonna give it an A. Perfect. I don't remember much about it, but I remember it being good. All right, next we have Craig in the Creek. This was another cartoon that was popping off when I wasn't really watching cartoons anymore. More. But from what I hear, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, in, in B tier. All right, next we have Dexter's Laboratory. Y'all need to stop simping over Dexter's mom. Y'all need to relax, bro. She's just aight. But bro, 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 let's talk about the actual show. I swear, bro, this man's sister had to have been one of the most annoying side characters of all time. She was always ruining what this man had going on. This was one of them shows that you kind of just turn on and just mindlessly watch. I didn't really pay attention to anything that was going on, so I'm gonna give it a B. Oh, next we have Ed, Ed, and Eddie, bro. This show, easy. S tier, bro. This show was a banger. This show's comedy was just stupid, and I loved it, bro. This show was just made for morons like me. And you, too. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. One thing I never understood about this show, though, is, was their obsession for the dang jawbreakers. Like, bro, jawbreakers are just aight. But I swear, these dudes made it their mission to get some jawbreakers every episode. But other than that, though, the, like, the side characters were cool. It just had my kind of humor, you know? I loved it. Oh, next we have another criminally underrated show, bro. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. 
S tier, bro. A lot of people don't even know about this show, bro. And it's S tier. Like, that's crazy. This show, it was just another comfort show, bro. Like, it was similar to Clarence, except it had, like, all sorts of colorful characters. They were always super friendly. And it just made it just made you feel good, bro. It was a feel-good show. Also, what was that one girl's name? Frankie. That was her name. You know, you, she she was alright. But overall, the show is an easy W. Alright, next we have the Garfield show. I mean, this show, this show was alright. I had a few little chuckles here and there. The only thing about the show is that it seemed like every episode was kind of rushed, and the main problem with each episode was just not that important at all, bro. This still wasn't bad. The dog was the best character, though, for sure. I'm gonna have to give it a B. When did they have Green Lantern on Cartoon Network, bro? They must have been airing that show at, like, 4 in the morning when I was already in bed. Alright, next we have The Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Easy A tier. Like, this dude, Billy, carried the show, bro. Like, he was the embodiment of Ed, Ed, and Eddie humor. He just hit the nail every time. Sure, you would lose a few brain cells every time you watch him do something, but it was like losing brain cells in a good way. Also, the Grim Reaper guy was pretty tough. I never really liked Mandy, though. She was just alright. Oh, next we have Johnny Bravo. Bro, if you remember Johnny Bravo, you're low-key an old head. I was super young when this show was popping off. I very, very vaguely remember it. Like, the only thing I remember from it is that it was, like, super fast-paced. Like, it was just little two-minute segments. It, it was never, like, a full episode. I guess I'll go ahead and put it in good. Not a woman here could vote no matter what age. The 19th Amendment struck down that restrictive rule. Why they go and do that? Right? That's what I'm saying, bro. Nah, hold up, bro. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Next, we have Johnny Test. Johnny Test was underrated, not in the sense that not enough people knew about it, but in the sense that too many people was hating on it when it wasn't even that bad. I'm gonna give it a good. As a matter of fact, I think it's better than all these shows in, in this category so far. Bro, Johnny Test was really not that bad. Like, they had unique side characters. It was one of those shows where something was constantly going on and it, and it, and it helped with them ADHD kids. The colors were vibrant. It was just a W. All right, next we got the Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes, easy W, easy W. Like, this show, really popularized all of cartoons in general bro there was so many unique ideas and things that happened in this show like it had it had the definition of cartoon humor and even when you watch it when you're older there's some stuff in the show that you get now that you would have never got when you were younger like you couldn't help but like laugh at every two minutes at someone getting whacked by like a frying pan or something bro it was just it was just a classic all right next we have mad mad was one of them shows that when i watched when i was younger i didn't like at all because i had no idea what, what was going on but when you watch it again when you're older it's hilarious bro it's like trying to watch south park when you're younger and then watching it when you're older not that mad has like super adult humor but it takes a few brain cells to get the jokes and a lot of mad was just propaganda just making fun of other companies and other shows it was great i'm like i'm gonna give it an a tier bro i have no idea what the show is called but i vaguely remember watching it like once or twice and it was cool bro this guy put it in in a c tier though so i guess that's what i'm gonna do too all right next we have flapjack now i was never really a fan of flapjack art style but the way they portrayed candy made up for it all bro like it was low-key bad because every time i would watch the show i would be in the mood for candy and just overindulge the old pirate dude was the was the funniest guy on the show like flapjack and himself was mad annoying i'm gonna go ahead and put the show in a yeah i have no idea what this show is called but i'm pretty sure this show had a flash game too yes this was the one i was talking about it was like a side scrolling adventure game bro it was pretty cool yeah i had no idea what went on in the show but just for the flash game itself i'm gonna give it a b all right next Next we have Lego Ninjago. Bro, Lego Ninjago was talked about so much in my elementary school. Like, it was one of those shows that had somewhat of a serious plot that I couldn't really get into, but at the same time, it was just so fun to watch because of like the action and, and the colorful characters and whatnot. Bro, everybody in my school was talking about who they theorized the Green Ninja was. When they came out with that episode, they were trying to make Kai seem like he was the one that was the Green Ninja. Everybody was talking about that, bro. And even though I personally didn't, wasn't the biggest fan of the show myself, just because of how much most the show got, I'm gonna give it an A. Alright, next we have Powerpuff Girls. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I never really gave Powerpuff Girls a chance because I always thought it was a show that was supposed to be for girls. But the few times I did watch it though, it kind of reminded me of like Samurai Jack, how they took like the action and the plot a little serious. But overall, it would feel kind of criminal not to give the show anything higher than a C. So I'm, I'm gonna put it above Johnny Test. Now, I'm pretty sure this was this is supposed to be the remake of the show, and I heard it was just alright. So I'm gonna put it in C. Alright, next we have The Problem Solvers. 
Everyone says that the show is trash. Bro, when I watched the show, it scratched every single ADHD cell in my bone, bro. From the bright colors to the random shenanigans that was going on. Bro, the humor was even that bad either. Most people would put this in D. I'm gonna put it in B. Like, this show was really not that bad. Next, we have what is, in my opinion, the best cartoon of all time regular show easy easiest s tier of my life like my sense of humor to this day kind of revolves around this show bro like mordecai and rigby were so funny muscle men and high five ghosts were cool pops was bro pops was just funny for like the wrong reasons like pops was just funny because he was doing random stuff there was also a theory about this show that i kind of tried keeping up with all the all the characters were on some sort of drug which is why they all look like animals like mordecai and rigby were, were always smoking weed uh benson was an alcoholic skips was on meth pops was on that was on that good snow but nah bro this this show was amazing they had a christmas special they had a christmas episode and i watch it every single year it's just that good all right next we have samurai jack now like i said earlier i was never really a big fan of, of cartoons that had more of a serious plot and didn't really have that much of a funny side but samurai jack was the only exception to that rule this show had great action scenes bro and it was just it was just fun to watch i'm gonna give it an Perfect. a tier it's one of them shows that you can just kind of have playing in the background while you're like playing a video game or something bro i know this may sound weird but doesn't the show just seem like it would be playing on the background of like a tv in your gta house bro hold on bro i, I can't find my glasses bro hold oh there they are next we have scooby-doo bro I'm, I, I'm sorry bro that was that was so cringe i'm not gonna lie i was never really a big fan of scooby-doo it was one of them shows that every time it came on i kind of just turned the channel you needed like a little brain to watch the show bro and i was never a fan of that i'm gonna put this show in in c actually you know what? I think it was low-key better than, than Ben 10, though. I'm gonna put it in B, and I'm gonna put it, like, right above Apple and Onion. The show wasn't bad. It's just that I, myself, never really got interested in it. Bro, I vaguely remember this show. I don't even know what it's called, but I had no idea what was going on in it, but I really, really liked the art style, so I'm gonna give it a C. All right, next we have Star Wars Clone Wars. Bro, wasn't this show on Disney XD? I do not remember this show airing on Cartoon Network. Either way, I'm not a fan of Star Wars at all, but Clone Wars was still fun to watch, so I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it a B. All right, next we have Steven Universe. And this is where I get some more hate. I did not rock with this show at all. Like, this show was mad boring. The only reason why it's not going in D tier is because of that one song with Garnet in it. Go ahead and try to hit me if you're able. Ugh! <laughs> All right, next we have Teen Titans Go. Bro, Teen Titans Go had the Johnny Test effect, bro. It was kind of just getting hate for no reason. I low-key was, was really rocking with the show up until they had Robin twerking in, like, every episode. Like, Cartoon Network. I have a mature palette. I much rather prefer my mom jokes. I'm gonna give it a B. All right, next we have the OG Teen Titans. This was another exception to the rule where it had a serious plot, and I kind of messed with it. I was a little young when this show was popping off, though, but I do know it was super loved by the whole community. I'm gonna give it an A. All right, next we have Total drama island this show was supposed to be like the cartoon version of that of that reality tv show survivor and bro i i've watched both of them i much rather prefer total drama island this show was a banger easy s tier bro like when i was watching this show it, it was actually addicting like i really wanted to see who would get eliminated in every episode duncan was the best character easy i mean bro who cares about someone balancing on some dang stick bro when you're watching people swimming away from sharks i'd say this show needs a bit more recognition bro like it was really good all right, and this is re where I started to have a problem with Cartoon Network. How you gonna take a show like Total Drama and then make a terrible spin off of it, bro? Get this out, get this out the way, bro. All right, next we have another criminally underrated show, Uncle Grandpa. Once again, this show had the Johnny Test effect. It was kind of hated on for no reason, bro. The pizza slice guy, low key carried the show, bro. Like he was definitely the funniest one. This show to me checked all the boxes. It scratched my ADHD itch. It had a lot of bright colors, cool side characters. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give it an A. Why right. is this show hated? so much all right next we have we bear bears now we bear bears was supposed to be one of them comfort shows and i'm a huge fan of comfort shows but this one just kind of missed like it didn't really hit the same as all the other comfort shows it still had pretty cool characters ice bear was definitely the best one i'm gonna give it a b all right last but not least we have the annoying orange show bro i was always a youtube kid so when i saw that annoying orange got their own show i was so excited and at the time when it came out i actually liked the show bro like i was a little kid i had no taste i had no idea what what was considered a bad show and what was considered a good show but i watched so much annoying orange that the orange's laugh actually became my own laugh it was really bad when someone would tell a joke and i would laugh at it i would genuinely go Nyah! it was bad bro i don't know like i I, th I think 
I'm gonna give the show a C. Like, I really don't think I should be hating on that much. But anyways, this is my Cartoon Network tier list. Let me know what you guys think. My opinion is 100% right, so it really doesn't matter anyway. Like and subscribe.